Mike here with Total Home Consultants and today I'm going to show you a couple things that you can look for on your roof to know if it needs to be replaced. This is a bit of an extreme case but uh, it gets the point across. Uh, first thing that we notice is, well we're on our second layer of shingle which isn't a problem but the first layer of shingle really isn't attached to much. Um, this can happen a lot of times when you're going onto a second layer of shingle because the nails aren't going to hold as well. Get up on top of the roof here. Okay, so we're going to start looking around. The first thing we notice is we've got shingles that are starting to slip. As a matter of fact, like I said before, the nails have completely come through these shingles, so they're completely loose. What's going to happen here, and we see it's really happening around the eaves of the house, uh, you get a good storm, they're going to start to lift these shingles right off the roof. We come over to, uh, this is the flue for the furnace. We can see uh, this isn't a real roof issue, but obviously the cap is completely damaged and deteriorated. So when it rains, we can get water running down the flue and uh, cause damage to the flue and the furnace. One of the things we always look at is the plumbing vents and the plumbing boots. And we see that these are cracked and deteriorated, so we could have some water coming in around those. This is one of the first things to go on a roof and uh, many times needs to be replaced before the roof does itself. When we get up towards the top of the roof, we see that none of the nails, nail holes have been sealed, so we're going to have water penetration around these rusting nails on the ridge vent. We see a lot of repairs. So it looks like we've had some water penetration in this house in the past. We can see all along the top of this ridge, uh, everything is caulked. Uh, the problem with caulk is it only lasts so long and it's not a permanent fix. We can see that there are signs of uh, water penetration multiple areas around all the flashing points. These are your, your vents for the kitchen exhaust fans. And then we have lots and lots of just small uh, sealed spots where more than likely you've got tears in the shingles or nails have rusted through and we're starting to get water running through those areas. Here's a telltale sign when a new roof needs to be replaced. It's when they're starting to patch it together with other smaller pieces. Um, these have not been professionally installed. We've got multiple layers on top of multiple layers and all of this is uh, only going to cause for more areas for the water to get in. But you see right next to the porch that they've added that some of the sheathing is sunken so it's, we've got a dip here. When that happens, that's going to pull all the nails right through the shingles in many cases, which it has here, and all of these shingles are loose. I won't even walk on this area because these shingles will slide right out from underneath me, even though we're on a pretty low pitch roof. We can see that our peak shingles are torn and missing at the ends. We got an interesting repair over here where somebody took some roof flashing and where there was leaking they just kind of jammed some of this underneath the shingles where there were holes or leak points and they caulked those into place. And then we've also got an area you can see also when they tried to repair areas they didn't install the shingles correctly you can see that there's not a stagger to these shingles where they're um, set off to the right and to the left of each other which is going to prevent water getting in at the seams. Um, so even though there's been some shingles installed on top of what was leaking, they weren't installed correctly and the, the repair's not going to hold either. We come around, we still see lots and lots of cracks uh, around these boots. We're getting water coming in there. And then a real telltale sign that a roof needs to be replaced is the actual amount of grain left on the shingle. So we can see here, we're right down to the felts. Um, this means that uh, the shingle has lost the majority of the, uh, the grains that give it its weight and its uh, uh, basically strength. You see this is very, very, very flimsy. If I was to hit a corner, it would just break right off. So this really um, is very susceptible to being torn off in a storm and getting leaks around that shingle. And then we see just general weathering. Um, the, the dark coloring is because we have a lot of pine trees in the area. A lot of the pollen accumulates here and that does cause some discoloration. Uh, you can see that we also have quite a bit of grain loss on these areas as well. I don't want to walk on those because they tend to be a lot uh, more slippery than the rest of the roof. And when we get to our ridges and our uh, juncture points, uh, we see that we have still just a, a lot of repairs Again, a lot, of, uh, a lot of cracks and breaks around the boots. And then once again, we see lots and lots of loose shingles. This can happen on a roof that's not as old as this and not as in bad condition. It's something that needs to be kind of watched out for and maintained. 
when a shingle becomes loose, um, it's easy to be blown off in a storm. Not noticed for a while and until you have uh, water running in through uh, one of the bedrooms upstairs. Looks like all of these are in pretty bad shape. Um, rather than trying to repair this, they've stuck some flashing underneath it to try to prevent uh, any more water penetration. Um, what this is also telling us is the sheathing, that's the, the wood decking underneath the shingle, is probably pretty rotted and it's not holding nails anymore. So, um, and, and the problem here is we've got a, a layer of shingle on top of an old layer of shingle, so this is the original sheathing. And if there has been any uh, considerable water penetration over the past, uh, we know that's going to be pretty rotted and that's going to need to be replaced with the roof. But those are a couple of good ideas or good uh, areas to give you an idea of when a roof does need to be replaced. Um, for more information on roofs and our inspection services, go to TotalHomeGuide.com. Thanks.